just FYI, I live in Washington State. New Year's Eve, chilling and drinking in the woods at my friend's cabin. Four guys, plus me. Shooting shit and fireworks. Bonfire, beer, general cabin shit. Random ass dog, runs out of the woods and up to us. Dog was chill as fuck. We grill him a burger patty with some bacon and set him up with a bed in the cabin because it was like 20 degrees out and he wouldn't go home. Just chilling. Dog isn't scared of the guns or fireworks. Weird. Suddenly, dog runs off into the woods and comes back with a shoe. What, lol? Just swinging this shoe like a fucking windmill. Drops it at my feet. Wanna fetch? All right. As I pick up the shoe, I notice something weird. Shit ton of blood inside the shoe. Drop the thing and scream like the little girl I know I am. Dog suddenly looks in the direction he grabbed the shoe from. Nopes out and claws at the cabin door. We hear some shit out in that direction. Could have been the wind, but I was having some bad feelings from that way. We hunker down in the cabin. Dog is anxious as fuck, but better than outside. Cabin has a window facing the bonfire. Huge as fuck shadow passes over window. N nope. Dog freaking out now. We all lock down in the room with no windows and try to sleep. Swear to shit I heard some weird ass growling all night. Morning and we decided to fuck off even though we planned to stay for another day. As we clean up, we see weird ass footprints outside. Like a dog's, but gigantic. Like a dog the size of a bear. But it isn't walking on four legs. Looks like the tracks were made by something bipedal. We pack up fast as shit. Dog still hasn't left for home. I decided that he wasn't going to stay here. Take him home and make him comfortable while I try to find the owner. He has a microchip. Owners were a married couple. Husband had been missing for weeks when he went hiking near where the cabin was with the dog. Say what? Police find a body out a mile from the cabin. Shoe dog had grabbed was his owner's. N nope. Alright Anons, this is something that happened to me like 10 years ago. Be me. 8 years old French kid. In French Alps, in a chalet. Be with a group of parents, co-workers, children. Group from 8 to 13 years old. My face one, I'm the youngest. In the evening, we decide to hang out because parents are having a boring dinner party. Snow is everywhere. The 13 year old dude is guarding us. It's pitch black outside, since it's 9pm. Decide to go wander around in the old village. Only a few lights there. Come across this weird and creepy looking bear shaped wood sculpture. Whatever, Dutch JPEG. It's really slippery because of the ice. Cross the old village. Arrive at the end. Decide to go back on our steps and head back home. Walk a few steps. Hear a creepy screeching behind us. Oh shit, oh shit, dot gif. Turns back. The fucking bear sculpture is there. Behind the sculpture is a super tall black figure staring right at us. Nope, dot jpeg. Run like hell. Even 13 year old badass dude is horrified. Kind of ridiculous because we slip everywhere on ice. About five minutes later, we stop running because we think he followed us. Look behind. Still the fucking bare wood sculpture dot gif. No tall black figure anymore though. Screeching comes through. A voice coming from behind the sculpture. Oh, the French are gonna hate me for this. Revenez Jure. Translates to Come play again for you anglophones. We nope dot jpeg again and decide to never go back in this part of the village. Next morning, tell my parents about it. Oh, Anon, you were just scared by your imagination. I know it wasn't my imagination. See other kids from the evening. We all agree to never talk about this again. Visit the old village at daylight. No bear sculpture anymore. Leave the place, and eventually never come back. I still don't know what it was, guys. Any ideas? This is from when I was younger. 
parents' house in the middle of the woods. Shit you not, 20 acres of woods around us at the edge of suburbia. Parents traveling for business. Sisters at friend's house. Me and a homie chilling. Video games and shit. Here knock on door. Who the fuck would come out here at 9 p.m.? It's pitch black out. Open door. Weird package. The fuck is this shit? Addressed to me. Guess I'd better open it. Open the fucking thing. Inside is a bloody knife in a plastic bag. Um... What? Homie and I locked down the whole house. Creepy as fuck feeling, all night. Call parents and they tell us to call the cops. Hear someone running outside the cabin, trying doorknobs and windows and shit. Call cops and tell them. They say it'll be 20 minutes. This guy is trying to get in now though. And this is why you don't rely on the cops for this shit. They will never get here in time. The next 20 minutes, we just hear random bangs and jiggling of doorknobs. Sometimes, hear multiple places around the house being messed with. Must have been two plus people. Headlights of salvation, long ass driveway, and all noises stop. Cops walk around the house. Nothing there, but house is pretty marked up. Give them knife. Cop drives us to homie's house. Homie's house is a fucking fortress with a gun-loving family. Feel safe as fuck. Go home when parents get back. Window is broken and shit is torn up in the house. Nothing missing though. Another bloody knife is in the room Homie and I were in that night. We move a week later. Fuck that house. Be me. 14 at the time. Go camping with parents and younger sister. Not incest.png. What? At Mount Diablo in California for anyone interested. Set up camp. Sun goes down. Sit around fire till about 11. Just talking and shit. Cool parents let me have alcohol, so I'm a little tipsy. They go to bed in their tent. Me and sister are sharing a tent about 50 feet away. Go lay down in tent. Talk for a while. Hear weird sounds, off always outside the tent. Think at first it's my parents fucking. It's too far away and on the opposite side of where they are. It sounded like nails on chalkboard, but organic. Like something living had made it. Hard to describe. Tell sister it's a deer. She's tired and had a little bit to drink too, so she accepts that and falls straight to sleep. Lay in sleeping bag for about 15 minutes. Can't sleep. Not really worried about the sound. Three minutes pass by. Still can't sleep. Fuck my life. If I had just fallen asleep, none of this would have ever happened. Start to hear rustling a little ways off. Tell myself it's probably my dad taking a shit. It sounds like rustling leaves at the top of a tree though. It starts to get really aggressive, like Whatever it is, is trying to take this tree down. Suddenly, it gets really quiet. Too quiet, dot PNG. Try to relax. I've been camping for years and know what foxes and mountain lions sound like. I've heard just about every animal in California forests, and still have no idea what could have made the sound I heard then. Literal screech. It pierces the air. Screech? isn't a good way to describe it. It sounded like nails on chalkboard at a hundred times the volume, but the tone was wrong. It had an organic, almost raspy quality to it. Definitely made by an animal. Start to freak the fuck out. Don't want to wake up sister because she's a giant pussy who will probably just start crying and say I'm trying to scare her. Ain't trying to piss off my parents. Calm self down. Decide to stay awake all night and listen for it. If it gets closer, I'll go wake up dad. Definitely sobered up by now. Holy fuck dot PNG. Scared but also feel brave for not running to parents. An hour passes. Ain't heard shit. Get bored. Start playing on my little 20 questions ball thing. Those things were the shit. Your sounds kind of near the tent, 
but brushed them off as small animals. They weren't coming from the trees. Keep playing. 30-ish minutes pass. Suddenly realize something. There are no sounds coming from outside. Dead silence. Peek head out from under sleeping bag. Literally nothing. Heart starts beating really fast. Get this overwhelming sense of dread. It's cold, but I start sweating like fuck. Sit there unmoving in the silence for what felt like forever. Ears begin to adjust to the silence, and I realize I can hear something. Very quiet, but I can just barely pick it up. Realize I can hear breathing. Oh, fuck. Again, it's in the opposite direction of where my parents' tent is, towards the forest. Not my sister. She is under her sleeping bag, and her breathing is different. The breathing sounds like a horse, after it runs. Big, deep breaths, from a big, big animal. Raspy as fuck. Start trying to convince self, all the noises are coming from a hurt deer or something. But deers don't fucking scream like that. Listen for 10 minutes or so. Sister snores and I get distracted for a second. Try to hone back in on the sound. Realize it's gone. Everything is back to dead fucking silence. Practically pissing myself at this point. Feeling of dread isn't going away. It's getting worse and worse. Start filming around as quietly as I can for my flashlight. Hands clammy, fingers spaghetti. Start to smell something weird. Smells like fucking death. Shit, 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 shit. Everything smells like blood. Praying that my dad will smell it and wake up. Try to call him, but my throat closes up. Can't even fucking croak, I'm so fucking scared. Hear something extremely close to the tent. Like the sound your lips make when you open your mouth loudly. Silently, start crying. Finally, find my flashlight. Trying to find the balls to turn it on. Hear something extremely fucking close to the tent. Right fucking in front of me. It was like a guttural moan. Like when huskies talk. But really, really deep and raspy. Time to die, .png. Starts making the sound over and over again literally piss myself. In the dark, I can kind of see something press up against the tent. Vaguely face-shaped. Realize it's actually trying to say something. Tell myself I'm going to count down from 10, then turn on my flashlight and fucking book it to my parents' tent. 10. It stops talking. 9. 8. 7. Shaking so fucking bad. Trying to find tent zipper. Six. Five. Can still see it pressed up against the tent. Realize that my sister is still asleep. Fuck it. Four. Get out of sleeping bag. Three. Start to unzip tent. Look back to where its face was. It's gone, .png. Nope. Unzip tent. Trip over the opening. Run as fast as I fucking can to my parents' tent. Trying to scream as loud as I possibly can, but still, nothing will come out. Crash into parents' tent. And on what the fuck? Grabbing dad hysterical at this point. He must have been able to tell how scared I was because he instantly changed from angry to concerned. What the fuck is that smell? Can barely fucking speak. There, there's a face out there. I've never seen my dad look scared, but if there was a time that he did, that was it. Where's your sister? Oh shit. Shit. She's still in the tent. It's open. It's open. It's fucking open. Fucking lose it. Hysterical. I run outside and my dad runs after me. Turn on flashlight and he grabs it. And we both keep running towards the tent. Knees are shaking so bad I can barely run. Dad starts screaming for my sister. Sees the tent. Dad stops and tells me to stay back. It might be a rabid animal if it's not scared by us. Can barely whisper. Daddy, it's not an animal. He starts shining the flashlight around the tent and yelling. 
It must be a skunk or something. It smells like shit. My face when? Skunks don't fucking smell like rotting blood. I think he was trying to be brave. We walk around to the mouth of the tent. And on sis, are you awake? Gets closer to the mouth of the tent. It's dark. The tent, even though we have a flashlight, almost looks like a shadow or something being casted in the tent. Wait, there's nothing to be casting a shadow there. I think me and my dad both realized this at the same time. His voice is kind of shaky now. And on sis? Shadow kind of shudders. Yeah, it's not a fucking shadow. Whoever is in the tent, get the fuck out right now. Dad starts running at the tent. This fucking thing turns around. Completely black. That's why we thought it was a shadow. But it's face. It's face was white. Just fucking white. Completely flat. No nose. It had what I guess you could call eyes. Just vertical slits on its flat face. No visible mouth. We'll try to draw a pic. Dad stops dead in his fucking tracks, just shining light on it. Suddenly, it takes off on all fours and runs out of the tent back into the woods. It ran, almost like a cat when it gets scared. That's the only way I can describe it. Dad's only shocked for a second, but then he runs into the tent to check on sister. Dad picks up sister. What the fuck? This bitch still asleep. She wakes up. Why are you yelling? It's the middle of the night. So you're okay? We go back to our car. Dad tells mom we need to leave right now. Stop. You're just overreacting. It was probably just a raccoon. Stop being such a pussy. I'm not about to drive home in the dark and crash. Blah blah blah. Bitch. I'm still scared as fuck, but I'm not pissing myself anymore. It's like maybe 2 or 3 a.m. at this point. Dad finally compromises says that we can sleep in the car until 6 a.m., and then we are leaving. Get situated. Dad is still worried about my sister. She seems fine, though, and falls asleep in the back. Mom and Dad can't sleep, so they go back to their tent, but lock us in the car. Laying on the ground. Yeah, I'm not fucking sleeping. An hour passes. Nothing. We all get into the car and wait till morning. Dad is still worried about my sister, but she doesn't seem to remember anything and falls back asleep on the seats in the back. Mom is still pissed and can't sleep. Makes my dad go back to the tent to sleep there with her. They lock us in the car. I'm laying on the ground next to the back seats. Yeah, there is no fucking way I'm sleeping. Still scared, but not pissing myself anymore. An hour passes. Start getting hopeful that it's gone for the night. Nope. Smell comes back. So much fucking worse. No fresh air in the car, and I think I'm going to vomit. Start to hear shuffling on the ground outside. Don't fucking look out the windows. My head is near the hinge of the car doors. Start to hear something messing with the car. Sounds like something scraping its nail back and forth over the hinge. Scrape. Click. Scrape. Close my eyes and tell myself, no matter what, to not look outside. Start hearing this heaving sound. Sounds like coughing, laughing, and breathing, all at the same time. Right next to my head. Start crying again. Too scared to scream. The moaning starts again. Way. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. It's fucking saying hi over and over again. Hi, 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 hi. Desperately trying to call dad. Sister wakes up. What's going on? Where's dad? Emma, What? what is that? Oh god, help, please. God, help me, Dad, where are you? Emma, please, open your eyes. What is that? What is that? What is that? Hear parents scrambling out of tent. 
I don't know what they saw, because my eyes were still closed. But whatever it was, scared them enough to drive away right then, and have my dad come back the next day for our stuff. I've camped there numerous times after this, and experienced nothing. Hope this was worth the wait. Any idea what I might have seen?